The Atlantic certainly doesn't want to be missing out on the activity either. We're now looking out for a potential tropical storm in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, this will get the name Bill if it does form. It is still quite a decent uh, range out to our 222 is when we start to see the first hints of formation. Um, but it has been consistent on the GFS run for the past at least 100 uh, hours, so the past uh, sort of 15 runs. So we need to be watching out for this system here. It has been showing up. It's going to be producing tropical storm conditions, and it will run into the US coastline as well. So we uh, need to be watching out for tropical storm impacts through Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and possibly even Mexico as well. Here's our, for here's our current um, uh, graphic for the uh, formation chance. We've got that little area of interest down there uh, in the, the Caribbean Sea, which is a 0 10%. That's mostly cautionary. The National Hurricane Center has discontinued that, and we will discontinue that very shortly. Just don't want to be um, looking at a system that forms as a surprise, which is what we tend to get uh, this early in the season. And that uh, little 0, zero chance in the next five days in the Gulf of Mexico, it's actually a 30% chance by us in the next 10 days. And this will significantly increase as well as model runs become to get more consistent. The ECMWF has actually just picked up on this system for the first time. Uh, so we're really going to be looking out for something that could um, actually become a semi-significant uh, system. So um, definitely could be bringing some tropical storm conditions in to Louisiana and Texas. That's our hotspot right now. Here's our track uh, graphic right now with chances of tropical storm conditions. Now the ECMWF has taken it into Mexico. Uh, it's very weak um, from the top of my head, but the GFS has been taking it pretty much anywhere in that cone of uncertainty. The most recent run took it over Florida, but now the latest run looks like it's going to be taking it in to Louisiana. Now we've got a 2% chance of tropical storm conditions in the next uh, 10 days for Miami, but on the contrary to that, a t nearly 10% chance of the US-Mexico border um, at the Gulf of Mexico coastline. So interesting little bits of trivia there with this system um, as this does move ashore. These chances will significantly increase and um, in the next uh, few days or so, we'll get a much better picture on what is uh, happening. But remember, uh, if this system does get named, it's going to get the name Tropical Storm Bill. Could become a hurricane, quite unlikely, however. Early season activity is quite volatile and hard to predict. Um, if I'm to think of an analogue off the top of my head, probably Tropical Storm Crystable of 2020. Um, but again, quite a volatile system that we've got going on right now. Uh, quite a long way out, might be deleted next model run, we're just not sure. Uh, so keep it in the back of the head. Uh, to watch if you are a Texas or Louisiana resident or Mexican resident or pretty much anywhere in the Gulf of Mexico where this storm could go. Uh, just one to keep in the back of your head. Keep watching the model runs. And on that note, that is about all that I have time for. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to click, click the subscribe button and the like button. We're very close to 200 subscribers. And click the subscribe button on the main channel where I produce graphical storm updates. That's all for me, and I'll catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.